Yo, what's up everybody? Angelus here, and today we got some Warzone gameplay. So this was actually leaked on Twitch's website as well. It was on their main page, so oops by them, it's on the main page. And, and also the classified tab on the main page now has a timer going. So mine is now at 22 hours left and some minutes. So by the time you watch this video or whenever you are seeing this, it'll be a different time for you, but I am Eastern Time, so my time will be 10 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time. So I think Central is like an hour ahead or behind, so you can just look it up. Mine is uh, Eastern Time, 10 o'clock. That is my release time for Warzone. So we have the Twitch leak, we have the timer, and we also have gameplay. So here is the gameplay. So as you can see from the gameplay, you have a jump master, which is basically the squad leader who gets to choose where y'all drop, just like Apex. And uh, I guess you can detach from from them and uh, drop wherever you want. But as you can see, the names appear above all the main hot zones that you want to land at. So as you're dropping, you can see exactly where you're wanting to go, and you can also pin mark on the map where you want to go as well, so your whole team can see it. Now, one thing with you dropping as well is you can deploy your parachute, cut the parachute, and keep doing that constantly. So you can go from your parachute to free falling constantly. All right, so this is the map in the game where you can see the circle time. It says circle time 423. It says gulag. Win a match in the gulag. Return to the war zone. And it says 18 minutes and 39 seconds or 38 seconds. And... I guess that's the amount of time before the gulag is shut down. So if you die within the first 18 minutes, 20 minutes that the game starts, you get to participate in the gulag if you die. But after that, I think there is no going into the gulag. And with this picture, all the yellow markers indicate the places that you can deposit your plunder, such as banks and ATMs. So all these yellow points on the map, you can go and deposit your plunder, which you can buy kill streaks, revive tokens, gas masks and other stuff like that as we'll uh, cover later in the video see as soon as you deploy you start out with a pistol you don't start out with just your fist like in blackout you start off with a pistol and there's a pretty cool thing that they added that you get a pistol now instead of just the fist like you did in blackout so that's pretty cool that's a new thing they added okay so as you see a contract was at just activated it says collect the crates so this is a scavenger contract that you will get and when you scavenge three crates, you get 2,000 plunder. So that's plunder they can use to buy all them things I talked about earlier, such as kill streaks, gas masks, and other things like that. Now the looting in this game. So it's just like Fortnite. You got the different colored um, variants of weapons, and also how you loot enemies is the exact same way as Fortnite. So when you kill them, instead of a bag falling where you have to run up and go through the bag, all their loot pops out over their body just like in Fortnite. So it will make looting much faster and easier to go on rather than the way Blackout had it. Now the game will only contain 150 players instead of 200 like everyone heard from the leaks. This is all they're having right now is just 150 players and the game modes are just solo duos and trios right now. So no quads yet and no 200 players yet. So um, they might implement that later, but nothing right now. All right, so with armor, there are three level, three levels of armor. You have uh, level one, two, and three, and you have bars above your health that are blue. And the, uh, the blue bar is what represents your armor plates. So you can have up to, I think it was like five plates of armor and uh, you put it in yourself just like in uh, Battlefields, um, was it Firestorm? So it's just like that, same same principles apply to that game. So it's just like Firestorm with the armor plates, you put them in yourself and it goes up to uh, three levels of armor. So you can actually buy back your teammates if they are dead. You can spend up to, uh, I think it's 4,500 uh, plunder and you can buy back your teammates if they die. So if they're dead, you can go up to one of these stations and buy your teammate back. So they don't have to do the gulag. They can just come instantly back into the game. But if you don't want to spend it, they would uh, would go into the gulag and do a 1v1. Okay, so in the gulag, say you and your teammate are dead. 
um, and your teammates doing the gulag, you can spectate them over top and throw rocks at the enemy and stun them to help out your teammates so he can come back into the game. So that's a pretty cool thing they added. You can throw rocks at the enemy, bash him in the head, stun him. Your teammate can win the 1v1 and come back, but once you come back, you cannot enter the gulag again. You get no more second chances. All right, now one thing I want you to notice is look at the mini map and look up at the top of the compass. You see all them little red dots. Anytime anyone shoots anywhere around you, it shows up on your mini map. So you will always know where people are at all times when they're firing their weapons. So that's a cool thing. You can tell exactly which direction people are at and uh, it makes the game more fast paced. So that, that's a pretty cool thing they implemented. Now for vehicles, um, they have basically all the vehicles from ground war except for the tank. The tank is not in there, thank God. Um, I feel like tanks would be really overpowered for end of the game, so I'm really glad they did not add the tanks. Okay, so another thing is drop kits. So you can have a customized class and camo with it, with a drop kit, so you get to design it and everything and um, get exactly what you want and then you pay with plunder to get this drop kit and um, you just get what you want. It's pretty cool, you get a custom class, get custom camo, and uh, get to go around and show them that. Okay, so with kill streaks, when you go and you buy kill streaks with the plunder that you've made during the game, it actually pops up on the enemy screen when you're launching at them. It says like precision airstrike incoming, or it just it just lets them know that something's coming their way. So it's not overly broken. And um, but one thing I am uh, worried about is final circle. If it's like a small circle, because UAV is automatically turned on with final circle. Say you and your two teammates all have kill streaks and it's a small circle, you can just launch them all. You know, one launches at far left, one launches at center, one launches at far right. You know, you can take out the entire enemy team right at the end and just win based off kill streaks. So I'm wondering how that'll turn out, but um, I guess we'll just have to see with that. But there has also been talks about nukes in here. I don't know how many kills it would be to get a nuclear in Battle Royale. I expect it to be a lot. It'd be more than uh, 30 like multiplayer. I wouldn't expect it to be the exact same as multiplayer since there are 150 players. We will see gameplay today from other streamers and other uh, content creators and I'm sure we'll actually see people live streaming this as well on Twitch and uh, Mixer. So that'll be pretty cool to see their gameplay today. I'll uh, cover that tomorrow as well but here is the uh, training ground or whatever training mode this is. This is what we'll first get before uh, we actually enter in the battle royale, it's like the tutorial to it. it shows you everything, it shows you the drop kit marker, uh, ammunition box, the UAV, the cluster strike, shield turret, precision airstrike, gas mask, and the, uh, the armor plate bundle. So it shows you everything with the tutorial on the battle royale and how much everything costs for in-game. So I'll let that play out, but I hope you all enjoyed this video if you want to see more Warzone content which I will be posting a lot of actual like uh, game gameplays tomorrow and uh, within the upcoming weeks. So if you want to see uh, Warzone gameplay, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, you have no skill and stay dangerous. Peace out. Loot and plunder are normally found inside buildings. Search for some plunder. See what you can find. Locate more plunder. Plunder can be used at supply stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Get to the supply station. Good work. Purchase a drop kit marker. Nicely done. <clears throat> now call in a drop kit and stand clear of the smoke. Drop kits allow you to select a full loadout. A drop kit is the best way to get three perks in Warzone. Well done, mate. <laughs>